I'm Rogue FPV, and this is Do It Yourself Nose Job. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for tuning in with me, Rogue FPV. I've been asked about Idle Up a few times recently, so if you're new to Kiss Ultra or Fet Tech Alpha, or just new to FPV, stick around. In this video, I'm going to let you know what Idle Up is and review how I set it up with Kiss Ultra and Fet Tech Alpha. This is my Armitan Beaver. It's running the Diatone Mamba G4 Alpha all in one. I'm about to break one of the biggest drone safety rules there is. I'm going to arm this quad on the bench with props on. Don't try this at home. Now you're probably thinking Uncle Rogie's about to lose some fingers. But as you can see, the quad is not freaking out and I'm able to be completely safe. The motors spin up to idle, but the PID controller is not active and the throttle is locked out. I can put my hand in the prop line and the props just stop because there are no PIDs forcing corrections. How is this helpful? Mainly, I use it as a dual stage arming with KISS and FETTEC, and I ensure that I'll never have an accidental arming in my hand or face if I inadvertently bump a switch by mistake. You can also spin up the props in your hand and see if any are bent out of line without the PIDs being active. Hey, what's idle up? Back before air mode was a thing, anytime you were flying around and went to zero throttle, your motors would go to idle speed but you would lose all attitude stability and your quad would drunk stumble around in the air until you raised the throttle back up. Idle up was a way to increase the idle speed up so that the PIDs were active by forcing the min throttle PWM value via a radio aux switch. With idle up, you could physically go to zero throttle on your radio, but your quad would think you were at like 1% throttle, so your PIDs were active and you'd have attitude stability. Now we have air mode, which is way better at providing zero throttle stability and pretty much negates the need for idle up as a performance benefit. But unlike idle up, with air mode, the PID loop is always active as soon as you arm the quad. Idle up is a two part setup. We need to make some quick changes on the radio model and on the flight controller. Let's start with the changes we need to make on the radio first, and then I'll show you the adjustments we need to make on the KISS Ultra or FETTEC Alpha flight controller. On the radio, I use a separate model for my KISS and Alpha quads than I do for my Betaflight quads. And I suggest you keep your idle up model separate from your air mode models if you have multiple crafts. Even though I set up my aux which is the same, idle up locks out the throttle. And with Betaflight, I use pre-arm as a safety and air mode rather than idle up. First, we need to enter the model setup page and scroll over to the special functions page. We need to enter a channel override, so scroll down to your first empty line. Click enter in the first column and set the switch you want to use to control idle up. In my case, I'm using switch A on my radio. Once you set your switch in position, scroll to the next column and set the value to override. Scroll over to the next column and set the value as channel 1. We want to override the value of our throttle signal, which is channel 1. Scroll to the next column over and set the value to negative 100. Whatever the throttle value is, we want to override it to negative 100 so the throttle signal will always be below min command when the idle up is disabled. Finally, scroll to the last column and enable the special function by making sure that the box is checked. Now in my channels monitor, you can see that when my switch A is up, idle up is disabled and my throttle value is overridden and stays at negative 100. I can move my throttle, but nothing happens until I move switch A and enable idle up. Once I do, the throttle is active and behaves normally. Before we move on to the flight controller settings, we need to make one last change in the output screen on the radio. We have to make sure that our zero throttle stick value is higher than what we will set our min command value to be, so that when we enable idle up, we unlock the throttle and activate the PID loop. Scroll to your model output screen and make sure your idle up switch is in the enabled position so the throttle is unlocked. Click enter to edit channel 1, your throttle, and scroll down to the channel min. Click enter to select and adjust the channel min value so that when your throttle is at zero, you are raising the output value on your radio screen from 1000 US to 1070 US. For me, with ELRS and Crossfire, 
This value has always been negative 84. Additionally, now is a good time to ensure that the max channel values is set to cap out at 2000 US when the stick is at 100%. Now, when idle up is enabled, when you go to zero throttle on your radio, your flight controller will always see a slightly higher throttle value than what is needed to activate the PID loop. Now for the flight controller setup. This is the easy part. If you use KISS Ultra or even KISS V1, connect on up to the GUI. Set your min throttle to 1050 and set your min command to 1060. Click save and you're done. Now the PID loop will be active when the throttle signal is 1060 or higher. Now let's take a look at the FETTECH Alpha GUI and make the same changes there. In the Alpha configurator, connect on up to the GUI. Scroll down to ESC and Motor Setup and click on Throttle Values. Again, set the min command to 1060 and the min throttle to 1050. Click Save to save the settings. Essentially, we told the flight controller that we want our PIDs to activate at a throttle value of 1060 or higher, but that we want our idle speed at zero throttle to be 1050. But wait a minute, Uncle Rogue. Won't that mean that the PID loop will not be active at zero throttle? When we enable idle up via the radio switch, the radio will automatically boost the minimum throttle value over 1060, so the PID loop will be active. Let's take a look at the arming process now that we have idle up set up. Because I'll be actively arming the quad on the bench, I've removed the props for safety, and I recommend you always remove your props anytime you're checking or testing anything on the bench. Now, every time you arm the quad, it's a two stage process arming and enabling idle up. So we're plugged in. Firstly, make sure your idle up switch is in the disabled position. If you try to arm with idle up enabled, the flight controller will see the throttle raised and will prevent arming for safety. So, idle up switch disabled, arm the quad. The quad is armed, but the PID loop and throttle are not active. Next, ensure your throttle stick is completely down. If your throttle is raised and you enable idle up, the motors will immediately go to the speed wherever your throttle is. So make sure your throttle is all the way down, and then flip the idle up switch to the enabled position. You can hear the throttle increase slightly, and now the PIDs and throttle are active. Disarm is normal, and then disable idle up. Take note, you don't need to engage idle up when using turtle mode. Well, that about does it for this episode of Just a Tip. If you guys have questions or comments, let me know in the comments section down below. As always, if you guys found this content helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Check out some of the other videos in my Just the Tip playlist for other helpful tips and tricks on how to make your FPV easier.